Hi witches! We are nearly at the end of Mercury Retrograde and I've had plenty of time to do lots of introspection for myself and my goodness, I have come to the realization, the emotional one, if you can't tell by my like fresh cry face, um, I'm burned out. That's just what it is. I've been working six days a week at least, um, sometimes seven since um, last October, basically. And I'm very, very tired. And I am not an infallible person, unfortunately. Needless to say, I had a very long, um, very validating <laughs> um, conversation with my therapist actually yesterday, who is also a practitioner. And um, I have decided to start a new grimoire, which means a new project. So I'm gonna tell you about that because the only way for a Virgo to solve their problems apparently is to make a project out of it, right? Um, so I ha came to a lot of realizations recently. The blue moon, which I am so sorry if you guys didn't see a video about that. I was just very overwhelmed. Pisces was just really doing its damn thing. It's Virgo season, my birthday's coming up, but the 13th anniversary of me being a witch is also coming up, right? So I um, initiated myself into Wicca when I was like 13 years old on my 13th birthday. And that's kind of like how I, delineate like how long I've been practicing. Um, I know some people will kind of ask, they're like, how, like, how do you say how long you've been practicing? That for me is a firm date and that's kind of how I mark it, but you might have another way of marking it for yourself. So um, this year I, in talking with my therapist, who again is also a practitioner and kind of like a spiritual mentor, which is really nice because um, she is definitely a much more experienced practitioner than I am. Um, I have started my new grimoire and um, one of the things that I think I really came to the stark realization of, so apologies if my thoughts are a little bit all over the place, this is like literally coming off a therapy session, so I'm like still, ah. Um, but I really feel like I have, you know, we talk about, or I have talked about in all of my work this year, the chariot being the card of the year. A chariot is a card that encourages us to like blaze forth boundless energy, but also reminds us not to like allow our chariot to get off course or go too quick so we um, lose control of the horse horses, right? I've lost control of the horses, guys. What? I feel like I am just literally like time is speeding up and I am just like racing down this track or whatever. Um, and that's really scary. <laughs> it is not my favorite thing in the world. And I feel like the solution to that and really like the lesson that I must learn in order to move forward, I've come to the realization, is the, the next card, right, in the major arcana, which is temperance, which is finding that balance, which is getting those horses back in line again. So um, that is gonna be kind of like my new focus, if you guys are cool with that. I so um, to kick all of this off, I am going to be doing a rededication ritual, which is something that she and I talked, my therapist and I kind of talked about, um, just to kind of like mark the significance of the occasion. Cause I usually like hate doing stuff for my birthday, but this is like, I don't know. I feel like there aren't too many significant birthdays after 21, but this being the 13th year of my practice or like the 13th anniversary of me initiating myself and kind of like, I don't know, taking my first steps down this path, that's like a really big thing, or like dedicating myself to this practice. Um, so I restarted my, like this new grimoire. Someone gave this to me uh, for Yule last year. And I, um, I actually like had started writing some notes about therapy in there and then stopped for whatever reason. Cause I was like, this isn't what this is for. I'm gonna hang on to it. Now I figured out what the book's for, so thank you very much. Um, but um, I took some time yesterday to kind of like uh, brainstorm some ideas. So I have my little notes here. Um, things such as like the timing of the ritual. I want it to be like around the time that I was actually born in the morning, you know? Um, I want there to be certain foods, like my favorite wine and my favorite type of cake and like fruits and stuff and really just set like, um, set up an altar for myself, you know, like, or to myself almost. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really beautiful. This is again, just really like brainstorming and I'm going to try, I like this is very much for myself. So I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm going to share right now or at least today. So like stay tuned. But in the 13th year of my practice, I really want to, 
um, kind of like revisit everything, <laughs> like um, really get back to my, um, my roots and really, cause I feel like everything has become so mundane, like mundane, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Everything has become so routine in my life. I have a practice. I've been doing this for half of my lifetime, literally. I'm turning 26, like, um, and I was 13 when I initiated myself or like became a witch, I would say. Um, so I, I feel like everything has become so routine. It almost doesn't feel like that magical spark anymore. So I need to find what that, like, I feel like I've been chasing that for a while and this year I really want to rediscover that. And I know that sounds a little bit like corny and weird, but um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. So anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> um, I'm going to be trying to update a lot more. Um, as you guys know or may not know, I opened a business and I am the sole owner and I do a lot here. <laughs> like on top of that, I just took on an apprentice. So it's like teaching and learning uh, from both of our parts. And it's been really great and she's wonderful. I can't wait to like introduce you to her truly. But um, I, I just, it's a lot. <laughs> So thank you guys for understanding if this has kind of been on the back burner. I just, I really, this needed to be the focus. So yeah, this kind of has taken precedence. Um, and again, I'm trying to find temperance, trying to find balance in all things in my life. So um, hopefully that means more YouTube content <laughs> in the future. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.